acute high drops is a complication of corneal ectasias like keratoconus that leads to the sudden onset of corneal edema due to rupture in desmans membrane causing pain and vision impairment when initial conservative medical management fails to resolve this condition what could be done next yes we could repair surgically by desmetopexy and compression sutures now we'll be seeing the procedure of desmetopexy with compression sutures first side port is made using a 15 degree blade careful positioning of side port is chosen that is always away from the area of pathology pilocarpine is then injected into anterior chamber to constrict the pupil this prevents posterior migration of air bubble which if happens will lead to pupillary block using vitrector inferior peripheral iridectomy is done so as to prevent pupillary block during post operative period by the air bubble air is now injected into anterior chamber so as to create a tamponade and enable desmans membrane suturing using 10o nylon sutures desmans membrane is then sutured air is removed post suturing 14% c3a fat is injected 14% is an isoexpansile concentration of c3a fat where 0.7 ml of gas and 4.3 ml of air is taken glycerin is applied to decrease stromal edema and enable clearer view of dmo position at the end of 30 minutes 80% gas is retained the side port is sutured at the end of the surgery and bandage contact lens applied at the end precision patience and proper technique can make all the difference in restoring clarity and comfort to the eye